welcome back to my channel Gabapetic and welcome to today's video. Today's video is about serious hypoglycemia or low blood sugar and how to use the Glucogym Hypo Kit. I'm making this video because I hope it will be informative to both people who are and aren't diabetic. If you are type 1 diabetic it's very important that people know that this Glucogym Hypo Kit exists so it can help you recover from an extreme low blood sugar and that people are aware how to use it. And on the other side if you are non-diabetic you may need to use this in your lifetime and someone who is diabetic so you never know so I think it's a really important video to put out there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And let's go ahead and have a look at this hypo kit. For most of this video, I will be filming up close to the hypo kit, as you can see here. This is how the hypo kit looks. It's an orange box and it's made by Novo Nordisk. If you've never come across a glucogen hypo kit before or you're newly diagnosed, this is used if there's an extreme low blood sugar of which you are unconscious. Obviously, you can't use this on yourself, so a paramedic or someone that you trust will use this on you. Essentially, what the glucogen hypo kit is, it's an injection of glucagon. Glucagon is an extremely fast acting form of glucose, so that if you are unconscious, someone can inject you with this and you can recover from your extreme hypo and come back to consciousness. So we shall go ahead and open it up, but before we do, the reason I'm showing you this today is because mine is actually expired and I have some new ones on the way, so you should always check the date on there to make sure that it is in date. As you can see, this is very out of date, so I have my new ones coming soon. And one other important note is that this has to be kept in the fridge at all times. I have one at home when I was in school when I was younger, there was one in the school as well. You could maybe put one in your job if you had someone there that you trust or someone that was trained on how to use this. It's very important that's kept in the fridge because that is the way it will work. It says here, store in a refrigerator between 2 and 8 degrees and you can store for 18 months within the shelf life. We go ahead and open it up and this is how it looks. So we have a little leaflet on how to use the kit but also what I find very good is obviously this is going to be used in an extreme situation so you want... You might be panicking, so you want to know how to quickly use the glucogen injection. So this is a little picture scheme of here, how to do that. Let's go through what else is in here. Quick look at the leaflet before we start, so just some information. Like I said before, it's used when a diabetic has become unconscious because of low blood sugar. And what you need to know before you use it, basically make sure that your friends and family are aware and that they're trained to know how to use it. And this is the information I wanted to show you. So you can see that there is a syringe and a vial. The syringe does not actually have any of the glucogen. The water in the syringe has to be mixed with the glucogen in the vial here. So that's very important that you can't just inject the syringe. And yeah, just some brief overview about it and then it goes into more detail on how to use. But like I said, you can use the picture guideline here. But that is very important to note that you don't just use this part. You have to use the vial as well and draw it up as it shows here. Let's get started. And for the purpose of this, I'm going to inject an orange. Obviously, throw away the orange immediately, but I learned this when I was actually learning how to take insulin very long time ago that people actually inject into oranges just to practice. So make sure you throw out the orange as well because you do not want to eat that. So for the purpose of giving you a really clear instruction, I'm going to be following along here is obviously a quick guide, but I'm going to be following the very detailed instructions that are on the leaflet here by the side. First of all, we will take out our vial. So if you see here, the vial just has the powder inside it. It doesn't have any liquid. And this is actually the glucogen inside here that needs to be reconstituted with the water from the syringe. So the first thing that we do is we remove the plastic cap from our vial. And when you've done that, you could see that there is a place where the syringe will pierce. So we have that ready. As you can see, we've taken the lid off in the picture and we're gonna put our syringe into the vial and push all of the liquid into the vial. So let us take out our syringe. Here is how it looks. Obviously, like I told you, this one is out of date, so make sure it is in date if you go to use it. Take off the plastic lid on the top. So I've just taken it off there off camera to be really careful. You can see it's an extremely long injection, way longer than any insulin injection. So do be careful when you're handling it yourself. So this is how it looks. There is a marked circle on the stopper, so that is where you are going to push this into and it just pops in like that hold it together like that and push down and inject all of the liquid from the syringe into the vial i'll try to show you it from the side you can see it going in there keep it held on there then when you have it done if you look on our quick instructions you can see that we're going to shake so very important that you keep the needle on here 
and we want to shake it to make sure that we mix all of the contents together so i'm gonna just do this a bit and how you know you've done it right is when the solution is clear so it's looking pretty clear there so it is ready to go so all the time you want to keep your plunger of the syringe completely down as i have it here and then as you can see number three we're going to draw back up the liquid into the syringe and we're going to fill up our syringe so it will be a bit hard to show you this but i will show you it when i have it done so i'm going to draw it back up obviously you want to hold it upside down so i'm starting to draw it back up try not to get air bubbles i got some there don't want to inject someone with air bubbles so let's try it now so it is ready to go i can take that out there like i said it's important to remove air bubbles i've never actually done this before this is my first time doing this too so this is really good for me to learn it says with the needle pointing upwards tap it with your finger to get any air bubbles out if there's any that you can see at the top you can push it a bit out too just to get rid of any air slowly doing that here you can see that the air is coming out that looks good to go so now my needle is ready to go i've got the solution in there and i have it no air bubbles well as best as i can for this demo so do be very careful take your time when you're doing this even though it is a panicky situation you want to make sure that you do follow the instructions and then number four going to get ready to inject the person and it says to make sure you have the correct dose a small amount of liquid will come out so you see some came out there so it's ready to go now when a tiny amount has come out so now we will get ready to inject the person so you want to inject the person in somewhere into them like the leg or the stomach here it says inject into skin or muscle so i'm going to go ahead and practice on my orange for the purpose of this pretend this is someone's leg which sounds really weird so get the injection in and then push it all the way down until it's gone and then you can take it back out and obviously this all goes into a sharps box or whatever you can do so that is it injected in there some other points then to note it says put the person in the recovery position and when they do wake up make sure you give them high sugar sweets to keep their blood sugar up make sure you give them high sugar snack and then you should probably, if this did happen and you used it without a paramedic, contact your GP or your diabetic nurse to tell them. So yeah, that is how to inject the glucogen hypo kit into my nice sidekick orange here who helped me. Obviously that kit I cannot use myself. Like I said, I'm going to order more from the pharmacy on the way because that one was expired by a year anyway. So definitely if you have one in the fridge, it's worth checking to make sure that it is in date because you never know when you go to use it. Luckily, I have never had to have this used on me, so fingers crossed I never will, because obviously it's for extremely low blood sugar. So it's very important that people that you trust know how to use it and that you have it in a few different places, like in school maybe, and the school nurse can have it there at home, definitely in your fridge, and whoever you live with knows how to use it, and maybe in work if they allow you to do that too. So I hope this video was helpful. I haven't really seen videos like this on how to do a demo with it, because it's good to have a video to watch instead of just a leaflet to follow especially if you're in a panicky situation you know that's pretty hard to read a leaflet and try to remain calm so i hope you enjoyed the video if you do please give it a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel thanks so much for watching again and thank you to all my new subscribers for joining and i will see you all in the next video